Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody is trying to draw this shape, and there is pretty ingenious the way he described it, but they drew the shape, but they can't get it perfect. They're drawing it with a four-sided polygon, which is pretty ingenious, because if you uh, take this and bump it up and then add a node there and bring it here and add a node here and bring it here and you'd have to do this perfect to get it symmetrical. And there's a way around that later. Uh, let's just, whoop. whenever you double click, you delete it. And then you could, you know, quite possibly turn them into a curve. And then, you know, well, you probably wouldn't want to curve that. You'd probably want to curve this, curve this. And you kind of get that peak and maybe, you know, spread it out, spread out the peak. And then you could convert the whole thing to a curve, grab your shape tool and select all your nodes, hold down your shift key and de select all your nodes and then hold down your shift key and deselect those inner ones. And then go over here to your corners and you've got somewhat that effect, but it's not as good and it's not as quick and it's uh, not what he wants. So, Pretty surprisingly, you can draw it with the rectangle tool. Um, I want to hit P and put it at the center of the page, which doesn't really matter. I am going to go and convert it all to a curve. Then with the shape tool and holding down the control button. Well, take it back. I need to take everything and convert the, the nodes to a curve. Then holding down the control button. You can go anywhere in here and the control button will, will let you restrain uh, left and right. And you'll be really surprised that control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button, do that. Control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button and do that. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete your lines and rotate it 45 degrees and fill it in with whatever color, well, would act like you'd want to make all the parts uh, together, and then you could make it whatever color you wanted or make it an outline and have that shape. And, and you could change it. As you see, I changed it a little bit from my original um, drawing. They're a little bit more round. Well, it, it might be just the size, too. Let's... Uh, bring this in a little bit and yeah, it's, I guess it's pretty close, but you could, you know, you could definitely change it up by, you know, getting your square, converting it to a curve, grab your shape tool, make all of them a curve. And then while, well, you know what, it might be easier to go in and rotate it 45 degrees. And then you could get your shape tool and bring in this part, holding down the control button. See, the control button will kind of limit you how far you can go off. And so you could go to the center, or you could go a little bit past center, or even past center the other way. And you're still going to get that same look. Now, I find it would be easier to rotate it back to zero, and then control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button. Go that away. Control, control D, and while holding down the control button, go that away remove all your indexing line and you've got a totally different look because we went we went further than the other ones but it's still a pretty cool object i commend it for trying the the um four-sided polygon tool that's a good idea but this is pretty quick and easy anyway i hope that helped him a little bit thank you for watching